Welcome to our Shopify pricing overview. In this video, we will show you Shopify's tier structure and will help you decide which one is best for you. Shopify is great if you want to run a store. It gives you all the tools you'll need to sell both online and offline. Yes, you heard right. Shopify even comes with a point of sale solution that syncs with your store's back end. This means you can use Shopify for your online business, but also in your brick and mortar store. Okay, let's check the different plans. Before you sign up for any plan, you should check out the 14 days free trial. There's no credit card required and you'll get a good idea of whether Shopify is a good choice for your project. Use this period to test as much as you can and remember that you can cancel any time. Also, if you wanna save some bucks, you can opt for an annual or bi-yearly plan. Instead of going through every plan's features, let's have a look at their main differences. Obviously, the price is the main one. The entry plan costs $29 a month, whereas the highest standard plan basically costs 10 times more. But how does Shopify justify the higher price? Well, there are several factors at play. The principal one is the features. At the bottom of their comparison page, you can see what you get exclusively in the higher plans. If you need a feature like integrated gift cards or automatically calculated shipping rates from third-party carriers like UPS or FedEx, you will need a higher plan. It's that simple. But there are two more features that can have an impact on your decision. Staff accounts and Shopify shipping discounts. As you can see, the higher your plan is, the more staff accounts you'll get. Staff accounts can have different rights, so you don't have to share one account with the whole team. Shopify shipping will save you money and time. Basically, you'll ship your packages with USPS or Canada Post. The benefit is that your shipping rates decrease the higher your tier is. Also, you can print your labels directly at home and drop the package at the post office. Done. Now, let's talk about the credit card rates. What we see here are the rates for the Shopify payments gateway. They will be charged if your customer pays with a credit card online or in your store. The rate decreases if you pick a higher tier. Unfortunately, Shopify payments isn't available in every country. In that case, you will need to pick another credit card gateway. You'll most probably have a less advantageous rate. Here are their transaction fees. Even if you don't offer credit card payments, you will have to pay Shopify's transaction fees. Like with credit card payments, the fees decrease with higher plans. Here's an example. Your customer checks out and chooses cash on delivery as a payment method. Depending on the plan, Shopify charges you either two, one, or one half percent of the checkout price. Let's take a deep breath and try to summarize their payment fees model once more. Every payment method comes with a transaction fee. The lowest possible rate is for offline payments like money transfer or checks. The highest rate is for credit card payment with a third-party gateway. Note that Shopify doesn't charge additional transaction fees if you pick their own payment gateway. So, if it's available in your country, always try and use Shopify payments for credit card payment to avoid these extra costs. Since it's not mentioned on the pricing page, be aware that you will probably also need a domain. You can use an existing one or buy it through Shopify. It'll cost about $13 per year. Last but not least, we want to mention two special Shopify plans, Lite and Plus. Shopify Lite is a cheap entry solution for vendors that don't need a store website hosted at Shopify, but want to sell their products via different channels like Facebook or their own non-Shopify website. Finally, the most expensive solution is Shopify Plus. It's for companies that can't fulfill their needs with the advanced Shopify plan. It comes with many additional features that will give you more freedom in the back end. You can read more about this special plan in our Shopify Plus review. You'll find the link in the YouTube description. We hope this short overview gave you a better understanding of the tier differences. If you have any questions, just leave us a comment. We'd love hearing from you.